Hey Artland, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw Destroya. Now, Destroya is one of Godzilla's biggest and toughest bad guys that he has ever faced, and he's got a lot of cool details on him, so I thought it'd be cool to show you guys how to draw him today. So we're gonna do a close-up of the face. So starting right here, I'm gonna draw the eye. So I'm just gonna draw a line that just kinda goes down, and then it's gonna kinda curve up and back down a little bit. Then, starting here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and then it's just going to come around like this to kind of form like a little bit of an oval kind of jelly bean shape. Then, right here, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around the bottom. And then, right along the top, I'm going to add just a couple little lines like this, just to kind of make some little wrinkles and everything in there. Then I'm going to extend this line out just a little bit, just to make it a little bit longer. Now, right here, I'm going to make a line that just kind of goes up and then back down, because I want to make some spikes on here. So I'm going to do that same thing just a few times, just to make it look like he's got lots of texture on there. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes up and then down. And I'm going to do that just a few more times, kind of just how I did over here, just to kind of show where the other eye is going to be. Then, starting here, I'm just going to draw a line that goes up, and then I'm going to add another one right here. Then, I'm just going to add a couple more little lines like this. And then I'm going to make kind of like a long kind of broken line that's just going to kind of curve back to here. Now, starting up here, I'm going to add some, a few more of those little spike shapes, and they're just going to kind of run right towards the eye. And then right up here, I'm just going to add a couple more kind of squiggly lines. He's got a lot of texture on him, so there's not a whole lot of smooth lines going on here. Then right up here towards the top, I'm going to add a little line that's going to curve up and down for like a little spike. And then I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to move down here for right now. Now, his mouth is full of really sharp, small, kind of jagged teeth that are going everywhere. So I'm going to kind of draw these right below this line that I just drew. And I'm just going to kind of have these kind of go all over the place. You can see they're kind of rounded on top, and then they're a lot uh, pointier at the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of add these. You want to make them kind of different sizes and everything. Make some bigger, make some smaller. And just kind of have them going all over the place. You can kind of have them in different spots, just like that. And then what you want to do is I'm going to draw a line that goes down, and then I'm just going to add a little line in between all of these just to kind of connect everything. And this is just going to kind of make it look like they're sitting in his mouth. Then starting here, I'm just going to draw a little line that's going to kind of curve up and over. And then he's got these two really big spikes coming out here. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve in, and that's just going to kind of curve around like this. Then I'm just going to add kind of a few little extra kind of curved lines around here, just to kind of show that those spikes are kind of sitting in there. You want to add another one down here, a little bit smaller, and then just do those same things. Then I'm just going to draw a little line right down here just to kind of show that there's a, a little bit of skin back there. And then I'm going to make his jaw over here. So I'm going to draw another line, and then I'm going to make a line that just kind of goes up. And then it's going to go down. I'm going to make kind of like that same broken pattern. And then we want to do the same thing. We just want to add all those teeth in there. Same thing as the top, just kind of make them different sizes, kind of space them out a little bit. 
kind of put them all over the place. This time I'm actually making some, uh, leaving a little bit more space, making some kind of go different directions. And I'll put one more right back there. And then just how we did on that top one, just kind of connect the little spaces in here. And then right here, I'm just going to add a little line that kind of curves down to show where his lip is. And then I'm going to make a line that goes down, and then I'm just going to kind of go up. And then kind of go down again, and then come right over here. Now, I want to add a tongue in here, because I want it to look like he's kind of roaring. So we want to start the tongue back here, and you just want to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up. And then it's just going to come down like this. Then I'm going to just kind of curve it back, and then just add a line that just goes right down here. Then right here I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve back. And then a line that's just going to go right to here for the other side of his mouth. Then we're just going to kind of add a few sharp teeth in here. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, just kind of keep them spread out. You can make them a little bit smaller because they're a little bit farther away. Now, up here on the top of his head, he's got a really big spike coming out. So I'm just going to make a couple little bumps like this. And we're going to draw a really, really big spike. It's probably not quite as big as this normal one, but we just want to make sure we can fit everything in here. And then I'm just going to kind of come right down to here. Now, let's move back up here, and we want to add some of his big ears. He almost has kind of like bat-style ears. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm just going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then come back down. And then I'm just going to add another one that kind of goes up and down. And then one more that's going to curve way up here. Then, starting back down here by these spikes, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve down for the bottom of his ear. And then I'm going to have a little line that just kind of curves up and then comes back down here. And then that's about all we're going to see of the shape of his ear, because they're just so big. Now right here, I'm going to add a couple little curved lines, just like this, just to show some kind of like wrinkles in the neck. And then over here, I'm going to do his other ear. So I'm going to start right up here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to curve down. It's going to jump over here. And that's just going to kind of come right down here. Have a little line that goes up and then back down. And then up here I'm just going to add a little line that just kind of goes up and down. So here's our basic shape of Destroya. Now what we want to do is we want to come in and add the details, and there are going to be a lot of them. I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part, but if I go too fast, just make sure that you hit that pause button so you can slow it down and catch up. So, up here on the mouth, I'm just going to add a couple kind of wavy, kind of broken little lines around here. And then I'm going to add some kind of like little spikes kind of right around here as well that aren't connected to there. I want to make just a few kind of curved little broken lines over here. going to add a couple just little extra lines over here. And then I'm going to add just a few kind of curved lines right around his mouth up here. I'm going to make a couple little extra lines right there. And I'm just going to make a couple little curved lines over here. We can throw some little lines kind of right around the uh, back of his eye there. Now down here, I'm going to make a little line that kind of curves out to here. And I'm just going to make some little broken lines all over the place here. 
some extra little lines right around here. And then just some quick little broken lines just to show some kind of like details. Kind of These kind of help show where like things are going to be kind of rounded off. I'm going to make a long broken line down his tongue and then some like kind of curved lines right around here. I'm going to do just a few kind of curved lines right around his mouth. And then also I forgot to add, I'm going to draw a big spike that comes out here. It's like this one, but it's over here on this side. Now, on these spikes, you can always add a few kind of long broken lines just to kind of help give it a little bit of detail. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Add a few more little details around the eyes. Now, up here on the horn, kind of what I did over here, I'm going to do the same thing and just add some of these long lines kind of heading straight towards that point at the top. Add a few kind of curved lines over here. Now, over here by his ear, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of go up and then it's going to kind of curve down. And then I'm going to do another one over here, just kind of curve up, go down, and I'm going to leave a little bit of broken lines in there. We just want it to look like these are kind of like indentations, and then these are where it would be a little bit higher up. So we're going to do a few up here too. And I'm just going to kind of throw some of these all over the place. Then in here, starting at the top, I'm just going to add some of these long kind of curved lines that are just going to kind of come down, and this will kind of help give it a little bit of like a curved shape. So I'm just kind of curving these straight down like this. Then I'm just going to add a few extra lines. Few little lines right around there just to show some detail. Then kind of like what I did over here, I'm just going to add some quick little kind of small kind of broken curved lines around here and this is just going to kind of help give it a little bit of shape. It's going to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional and I'm just going to kind of add these all over the place just so we can kind of get a little bit of detail and everything. Add a few little extra lines up here, and I'm going to even throw some down here just to kind of really help show that there's a lot of lines and details in here. And you just kind of want to come in and add all these different details everywhere. There's really no right or wrong way to do this, guys, so I know I'm going a little bit fast, but, you know, just kind of throw them in there wherever. Just be creative. Throw some more little lines right down here, too. Then I'm even going to add a few little lines right around here too. I'm going to throw just some extra little lines here and then even a few lines kind of running down his neck as well. And then I'm just going to add some little lines right here on this side of the ear. And then a few of those extra little kind of curved lines just to kind of help with the details. And there you go. There is your drawing of Destroya's face. There is a lot of detail in here and there's always more things you guys can add all over the place. But I just don't want this video to be, you know, 30 minutes long. So I just kind of threw in some different things. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.